Hi, may the Lord bless you. Today we are going to discuss how to beat financial pressure this Christmas. How to beat financial pressure this Christmas. With Christmas around the corner, there is no money out there to enjoy the occasion that is associated with expenses, merriment and goodies. There is no doubt that the present unfavorable state of economy has continued to put the majority of the masses under financial anxiety owing to the persistent hike in the prices of commodities caused by high inflation. The situation is so bad, most especially some countries now because of uh, COVID-19, some countries are going through stuff because of this, making things to be very expensive. But then, it is crucial you try as much as possible to live within your means and do not put yourself under any financial heartache because you have people or family members you are obliged to cater for every end of the year. Just be yourself by not living beyond your financial capacity to avoid recurring debts. Christmas can be served racking financially for several families, especially if expenses are not planned. Besides, it's often crowded with obligations that can make you surpass your budgeted expenses. And the current situation of the economy does not permit such as money is so scarce and getting financial support can be very tony. Consequently, it is critical to be cautious of how you deposit your money this Christmas. Particularly, if you wish to spend the new year with peace of mind, remember, the new year comes with its own bills, and some of them, such as school fees, cannot be overlooked. That is why it will do you real good to set your priorities right, regardless of the occasion. You do not need to give yourself financial trauma as a result of Christmas expenses, bearing in mind that with proper financial planning and good sense, you can avoid financial pressure by working within your budget and sticking to it. I have here some list of things you can do to help you out this Christmas. Generate Christmas plan. The most crucial thing you need to do to shun the stress of this Christmas season is to create a budget for all the items you need, including food, decorations, and gifts. It will do you real good if you try as much as possible to stick to your budget, especially if you really desire to manage your money or live within your means. But if you have not created one, it is not late to do so. It will enable you to track down your expenses. You can start by getting a diary or a book. Make a list of your preferences by listing the names of people who intend giving gifts this season. It is also important you ascertain your financial strength to know how much you can easily spend or give out this season. Another one is track your expenses. Yes, if you can not track your expenses, there is no need of creating a budget. It will do you good to always keep a separate Christmas fund in a dedicated bank account to enable you to easily separate your regular daily monthly expenses from holiday spending. Okay, avoid debt. Do not go into debt trying to create what you think Christmas should be. Just try and be yourself by not impressing people. Doing this will help you stick to your Christmas budget and avoid going into debt. Besides, you do not desire the stress of paying off all that debts in the new year. Try as much as possible to avoid the stress debt brings this season and always. Shop around and look for goods, night, nice goods to buy, nice Christmas things to buy. When it comes to shopping, certain rules apply. For it is good to shop around and look for deals as many retailers are discounting their prices. Even as the festive season approaches, there are good deals to be had. Again, if you actually want to save some money from the amount 
budgeted on Christmas expenses. There is no harm. Patronizing shop that offer discount sales. But be careful as all transactions are not created the same. Some may not even be truly discount since some stores keep prices the same but simply mark items with a sell sign, whereas they are not actually discounted. It is vital to always do a shop compression before you buy an item, especially during special sales offer. Another one is this, Sean Impulse Purchases. You must know when to stop shopping to avoid impulse purchases. That, that is why when your list is exhausted, exhausted, go through it again to ensure items and mark for purchase have been attended to. Once you are done with shopping, avoid shopping by the mall to see what they have as. This can lead to unplanned purchases and in the process enlarges your budget. Okay, budget your expenses. Many of us are fond of using our debit card whenever we are not financially buoyant or have some purchases to make. The situation is so unbecoming that some people cannot do without having their ATM in their side, their pockets or purses. The habit of always having your ATM with you, if not avoided this season, may be very hard for you and you have to spend all your money you don't know when it has gone. That is why it is expended to budget certain amount for expenses this season. Okay, stick to your budget. Endeavor to spend within your means because in the process of trying to show off or impress others, you may suffer unnecessary expenses which may lead to financial regrets. Okay, avoid random gift exchanges. There is need to put a stop to the gift exchanges at your place of work, vanity and, and vicinity and the church to avoid wasting of your money which automatically may lead to financial stress. More so, procuring gifts for the number of people on your list may be quite large to budget for and you do not require the financial pressure of a worthless present. Just be careful how you use your money this period. So many people want to eat from your purse, but say no to it. Just do what your heart tell you to do and budget very, very nicely. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.